Hey there everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta. In the last episode, I uh, didn't have too much luck with one of the harder Alfheim challenges. For now though, we're going to be moving on to one that I hope is a lot easier. I think I know what this one is, but I'll be sure here in a second. I think it's the one where you have to clear everything out. Oh yeah, this is just clear all the angels out and I have three health and four minutes to do it. Uh, we're starting with a deer and decorations enemy. Not too big of a fan of these guys. They're kind of a pain in the ass. I think after this, if I remember correctly, it's uh, wheel skeletons. Why am I calling them wheel skeletons? I mean, um, enchants. Okay. Yeah, here come the enchants. I just have to avoid taking too much damage. That's the only thing. So I don't have a lot of health to work with. Okay, that's one down. Where are the other? Oh god, they lie prone on the ground and fire at me? I don't remember them ever. Ugh, there was another one somewhere. Ooh. Oh, I'll just push this attempt as far as I can and see what lies ahead. I think this one ends with a fight against a beauty or beloved. I can't remember which it is. I get I get names mixed up a lot, as you might be able to tell. Let's see. Like I'm about to mix uh, the applauds and the other angels up. Except I'm just gonna call them other angels. Aside from the two pot shots I took from the um, from the enchants, this is going pretty well. Always surprised by how much damage that mace does. Oh wow. Yeah. I feel a little uneasy dodging that guy. See, torture attack. What am I gonna use that on? I guess there's only one applaud to use it on. Or one enemy worth it. Oh, wow, that was really fast. Oh, this is taking a lot longer than I expected. I like when I can just show off and one shot it, like, yeah, just super hard challenger. No problem. Today is clearly not that day. Also, if you, um,. I should probably mention that I'm gonna try to cut out uh, if I fail a bunch of attempts in a row. And I've failed uh, quite a few on this, quite a few times on this. I think what really ends up getting me on this is that I forget that the enchants lie prone on the ground and they're hard to see. So I wind up taking shots that I shouldn't take. Then again, if that's if that was my only issue, I really shouldn't. If, as long as I can survive that, I shouldn't be taking any damage from the others, but... Anyway, I got here with full health, so feeling pretty good about this attempt. Hopefully this is the killing attempt. Or a successful one. And yeah, I guess I'll just, um... Note that right now. Whenever I die a bunch on, uh, an, on an Alphine challenge or anything else, really, I'll usually just show... Uh, the first attempt and the, the successful attempt. Hopefully I don't have to repeat myself, like, ten more times. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, because it's not fun to watch someone fail repeatedly. Unless, uh, I don't know. It's kind of a blanket statement. Not always true, but it's a good rule of thumb. God damn, that bow is so good. So, so good. It was like a half health shot. Still have a torture attack available, still have full health, two minutes on the clock. Only one applaud to worry about now, I have an angel weapon. This is going remarkably well, and I almost hesitate to say that because I don't want to jinx myself. That's, I feel like that's one of the easiest attacks in the whole game to dodge, and that's the one I get hit by in this attempt. Otherwise, flawless. Oh, pains me. Pains me so much. This is going well. 
Ow. Shit. I thought I was gonna get hit there. I don't like being in front of this guy. I because I can't seem to activate Witch Time whenever I dodge the the frontal kicks he does, and he does a bunch in a row, and they're kind of fast. But he is dead, and this should be the final thing. So probably gonna get gold because I took a hit. I think my combo score should be decently high though, and time I'm pretty sure is platinum. Yeah, gold. Oh, wow. I figured my, uh, my combo score would be a lot higher. Oh well, that's one broken witch heart down. And yet another Alfheim gate down. Wait, yet another? I think this is only the second one I did. I complete it anyway. Yeah, I still have to end up going back to get the second one at some point. Well, actually I know when I'm gonna get it. It's right after I get Chiraba coming up. Within the next 10 to 15 minutes, I would say. Actually, how long have I been going for? Uh, well, I took a bunch of time on those attempts. So, I think I'm going to go grab a bottle of water, and then I will be right back. Alright, welcome back once again. This is just... This is not a good recording day. So, I forgot to hit record again uh, when I took that short little water break, and I wound up getting that diary entry off camera. So, what the diary was, was either notes on the topic of Magic 1 or 2, one of those two. So, I'll just go into both of them. Uh, in the first one, Antonio talks about uh, the Umber Witches and their magic and their commonality with the Sages. He talks about their temporal control, which allowed them to see everything instantly, and even name, uh, name drops witch time in it and light speed. And then Topics of Magic 2, he just talks about uh, witch walking and how he noticed that the footprints were left on the walls, and, and he caps that off by saying that because witch walking opened up otherwise unseen, untreadable paths, it protected the witches from, the outs from uh, outsiders. And this episode's going to feel... A little bit disjointed. Oh well. We'll chalk it up as an off day. Anyway, good things lie ahead though. Because this is the fight, I think, where we're gonna get the golden LP at the end, which should enable us to go back and finish the second Alpine challenge from earlier. I wanna get my bloody revenge on that. Yeah, I think it's this beloved and let's see. I think when he gets a little lower health, he calls another one out, or... Maybe I'm thinking of a different fight, let's see. I see a big-ass line in the sky that looked like Luca's tumor. That's foreboding. I hope I didn't mess my disc up or something, because it took a hard reset of the PlayStation to fix uh, Luca's tumor. I'm getting hit by things like the Angel Trumpet and the, the big sweeping axe attack. Stuff that I normally dodge pretty easily. And then stuff that I almost always get hit by, like the grab. Once again, I almost always get grabbed. Uh, I'm avoiding today. It's a weird, weird day. Gamora, you're back. Gamora, I'd like to see you some more. Uh. Yeah, and this... Yep, there it is. The LP that's gonna... Uh, that I can turn into Rodan for... My sword. I still can't remember whether or not it's Sharuba or Sharaba. Shariboobooboo. 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 Quasi una fantasia. And I think there's an arcade bullet in this chest. 
maybe a witch heart? There isn't shit in that chest. We're just gonna jump around a little bit more. I'm gonna come down here to the gates of hell so that I can get my sword and maybe a few other things. We'll see. Another LP? <laughs> Working me to the bone. But no need to pity me. I was bored anyways. Let me go whip some things into shape for you. Well, I'm back at the store anyway. Um, I forgot to, to mention this when I bought Stiletto. There is an interesting uh, little fun fact about the way it's named. In uh, Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry or the dash attacks, the names of them both started with ST. It was, I think, Stinger and Street. This took a bit of pound in the shape. So when they were coming up but with the, the name of the dash solid. attack for Bayonetta, they wanted to follow the similar naming convention. So Stiletto ST. And that's how it got its name. Let's see, is there anything else I want? I want to pick up Tetsuzanko right now. Breakdance, actually. I've heard that this could be really helpful for uh, another Alfheim gate we're going to be doing in this chapter. So, let's, uh, let's mess with this real quick. <laughs> I've never bought this ability before. It looks like a ton of fun. A little pose at the end. Alright, yeah, let's pick that up. 69,000 uh, halos left. Ooh, Chibo. Sweet. Or trophy, rather. Alright. We should be pretty well equipped to deal with uh, the remaining Alfheim gates. Actually, how many are there in this level? I know there's at least three. Is there a fourth one I'm forgetting about? Anyway, we'll burn that bridge when we come to it. For now, though, we've uh, two Alphon Gates that we are prepared to deal with, and a diary page I forgot was here. This one is about the Umbra Witches, number one. So, now for a little bit of light backtracking. We're gonna go back here towards the second... Wait a minute. Well, it's technically Alphime number two and number four is a little bit further back along the same path. Just gotta figure out which one I feel like doing right now. Let's see, I could get my revenge right now or I could go do the torture attack. I'll find yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And this gate up here is actually a lot of fun. So the stipulation for this gate is that I have um I have to execute six enemies via torture attack before uh, time runs out, and I also have to clear the whole- the entire wave. And since it takes a full magic gauge to, uh, to execute a torture attack, I have to fill it six times. And I have three minutes and three health to do all of that. Wow, I took two hits right away. This is going about as well as the last Selfine Gate so far. In that case, I'm just gonna reset and cut to the successful attempt. So the big pain in the ass with this one is that when I get hit, not only do I lose life, but also magic, and I need to keep building that magic gauge in order to execute the torture attacks. 
and the timer is fairly strict, especially if you get hit. So I've just been resetting if I get hit once, because you lose so much magic. You also have to balance out how much damage you're dealing and how much time you're taking to build uh, that magic, so it's a bit of a balancing act. If you rely on which time to build the magic too much, you run the risk of missing a, a dodge and getting hit and losing magic, or you're, you might build it too slowly with regular combos. Though it's, it's certainly possible to do it that way. Or if you get hit a few times, you lose the magic, so it might take too much time uh, to build it back up and the timer expires. Or, another scenario that I've been running into a few times, if you do too much damage while building your magic, you risk running out of enemies to kill with the torture attacks. So you can clear the whole wave out, but you will not, you, it's possible to not build enough magic to do six torture attacks. Which is why, uh, Breakdance is actually insanely helpful, as you can see. Especially with Witch Time going and a crowd of enemies, because it just spins around and hits everything and builds so much magic up. Really liking this strategy so far, it just took a little bit of getting used to. The hardest thing in like in the attempts I was doing is one, just making sure I I wasn't getting hit. And two, making sure I wasn't doing too much damage. And let's see, I'm pretty sure I can afford to take one hit. I don't lose too much magic that way. If I take two hits though, I I think I would almost certainly miss the timer. Uh, another helpful strategy here, if you're doing the, this without breakdance, it helps to focus your attacks on the high health applaud enemies because that way you build more magic without running the risk of killing an enemy before you can get the torture attack off. So you go for the high health guy, the high health guys first. Oh god, am I gonna make this? I have nine, eight. Is this the last enemy? Please be the last enemy. Ooh, it is! Ooh, shit. That was... Yeah, it was that close. Pretty much entirely because I took that one hit. So you can imagine, if I took a second hit, there I don't think there's any way I would have had time to do that. Either that, or I probably would have killed uh, the remaining enemies while breakdancing. <laughs> That's such an awesome phrase. Killed the remaining enemies while breakdancing. It's actually uh, one of the more fun Alfheim challenges to do just because of the way the, the mechanics interact with one another in that particular scenario. You have to really be on your toes and thinking about all the ways that things can go wrong. But now, let us equip Shraba, which I finally have the name right, and we will gear up to do uh, our revenge run against Alfheim Gate number two. And we will save that for the next episode, so take it easy, folks. Have a good one. See you then.